Press the right button, Matthew. Press the right button. Okay, we're back. We're back in industry. Morning. Morning. Yay! We that worked fine. So we're back in industry. We were here the other day. We set everything up. We've got the tower set up in the background over there. Um, we're here to actually do the job now. Um, are we out of our comfort zone with this one? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Absolutely. With the front roof, I think we can manage that. The back roof is the one. We've got the imperial tiles. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything on the market other than the, the A-plate, which is the bit of kit that was already installed that I'm not that keen on. It, again, it's it probably just me, but I don't fancy drilling through the slate to get to the rafter in case I miss it. Again, pro probably just me. I know lots of companies, lots of big companies do this every, you know, week in, week out. So it's, it's not an issue for them. But for me, you know, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, we don't come across slate roofs that often. Don't know why, we just don't. Um, so we spoke to David from Genius Roof Solutions last week and he helped us spec up their speed flash. Uh, few conversations have gone on since, back and forth. Instructions have been sent, telephone calls, video calls have been had. Cut a long story short, which I'm crap at doing. Uh, David's on his way here now. Uh, he's bringing some kit with him and between us, between ourselves and David from Genius Roof Solutions, we're actually gonna get this kiss on the roofs. Right, so we are now back on this wonderful roof with these amazing slates that we're trying to sort out. We spoke to David from Genius, absolutely fantastic fella, couldn't have been more helpful, so much so, like I said earlier, this is David. Good morning. Morning, are you okay? Yeah, very good, thank you, good. nice day. Lovely day, lovely part of the world for now. So you were just explaining to me there that we're not gonna use the speed flash on this side. No, we, we will probably, but what we're going to do is going to use an original solar flash because we can't ascertain where the rafters are because we've got stone fascias and gutters. We've got a boarded inside of the roof. Rather than cut and hope, we're going to remove some slates and physically see the rafter, fit, fit a solar flash, and then we'll track the rafters after that and switch to speed flash, hopefully. Which is fantastic because my whole point of doing this particular roof has, has been for the beginning, yeah. we want to see where the rafters are. Yeah, that's we, that's our main concern. Absolutely. Now, what are these things called? The normal ones. Solar flash. Right. So the first of the solar flash is now on down there somewhere, and David's just coming. I'm going to turn you around, and we're now going to sort out putting the speed flash on. David, David was just saying there that it has took us a little bit longer, but we ain't got a problem with that because we're happy that we're on the rafters. I think if I've said that once. <laughs> Yeah, the, the I'm not were, obsessed. The rafters were all over the place, so we yeah. were a bit old school. And just the nature of the roof as well. It doesn't, yeah. you know, you can't just go in and put your hand up and go, right, there's one there. And because of the size of the tiles and the way that we, they were laid out, we wanted to make sure that the head of the flashing gets onto the um, onto the baton above, which, yeah. and which we have just achieved. So we're yeah. quite happy there now. I mean, I don't suppose there's, I mean, it will have been done, obviously, but in terms of the amount of roofs of, of A, of this construction, and B, with these imperial tiles on, this is, this is almost, not unique, but it, it's certainly going to be quite a rare. Yeah, I don't think it's your run-of-the-mill slate roof that you no. um, work on every day. That's probably more like your other side, isn't it? Yeah. 18-inch slates. Yeah. yeah. Some of these, are, they get shorter as they go up the roof as well. <laughs> so what we're trying to do now is, this is our rafter. We want to create the space to, in theory, just fit that there. Right, okay. okay. So I'm going to measure up. Again, because we want to sit slightly up a little bit, because we're set at three and three-quarter inches of headlap, to make sure I get onto the one above it, I usually would cut at 190, but I'm going to go at 2, 215, something like that, just so I sit a little bit higher. Yep. Okay, and then I want to go the usual 80-ish wide. Like that. So we're going to cut this section out now. We want to remove that. So we're going to remove that and yeah. then, yeah, okay. The first of our fixings are in. And we did that the long way round for having to find out where the rafters are, making sure we know where the rafters are. It was a bit long winded. It took us a bit longer than we would have liked. However, we're now at the stage where we've got one in and then this is, uh, this is the speed flash now. So basically, as David's just showed in that video there, we've marked out where the rafters are. David's measured up where we need to move, measure, measure, move, move, measure. And then he's gonna cut that out. And we're gonna go, it's gonna end up somewhere like that. I've cut this top slate, but I don't wanna risk cutting the one underneath. So I'm gonna slide the shield into there. So I wanna protect this line of headlock all the way across. Okay, it's about to get loud.
So that's the first layer. Yeah. And what, what the shield was doing was protecting this part. Right. Because we're going to cut that out anyway. Right, so we're so just going to get that top bit, but yeah. not the bottom bit. Yeah. And what's the measurement then, for, say, from the top of the cut? Is that how we do it, or do we do it from the bottom of the tile? So from there to there, on a normal slate, would be eight, uh, 190 millimetres, but I've gone about 215, just because we're going to lose a little bit of the bottom. Yeah, because we're going to take we're on, it slightly higher. We're not on an, like, an even, you know, modern day head like we're a bit different, so I'm just going to cut across there now. Just enough like room for us to get our yeah, hook on. And we'll fit our hook in there. So as long as, yeah, so basically, so that, that f from where we've decided the top is, yeah. we're just concerned about making sure we've got enough clearance to get the roof hook onto the rafter below. Yeah, and then that's it. We can dress it all back in. And, and again, if we've got a Renu sole hook, it's got a, where it lands on the rafter is about 45 mil. Yeah. So in theory, all we need is 45 mil and a bit more. But yep. we're going to go across there. Yeah. Which basically is that if we work on the pretense that's in the middle of the button. Yeah. Top of the button will be somewhere like there. We're going to go just above it. Right. <laughs> With a bit of luck. But looking at it, it was just a battery issue. Yeah. There we go, rafter. And the rafter is smack bang where we thought it was. So, on the speed flash. Yeah. Which we've got down, the black. So, what we're going to do. We're going to slide that into there. Yeah, I was wondering this bit. So that's going to slide underneath. Yeah. Okay, that's going to go right up and sit on that button up above. And then we that's can... what I was talking about where we've lost a little bit. So we're going to we're slide right the roof hook up through there and screw it in through the top. We're just going to... And then, is it... <clears throat> I don't want to... I don't want to run ahead of ourselves here, David, but I think once the roof hook's in and we've put the clip back on and the sponge on, I think that's it done. I'm just going to fit this first, yeah? So the, all this does is stops the flashing bit of the slide down. If you remember on that one, it can't slide yeah. down, it hits the hook. What we need to do on this, so I'm gonna, it's 316 grey stainless steel, hooks over the inside of the slate, yeah. hooks onto the bottom of the flashing. Right, That's all so it does. if we just get in there, Joe, please, if you don't mind, darling. Right, okay, sorry. So we can just see in there that that little clip has clipped over the top of that slate, the, 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 the slate underneath, and it's just clipped. Ugh camera work awful, clips on the bottom of there and that stops the flashing being able to come down the roof. It's a Staff Smart Energy bat phone that is. Okay, I think that's yeah, that's clearing the roof, so... Same we're not... principle as the format, that goes around and slides up and sits in the, the bottom of the... Sits up its... Hood. Yep. Make sure we get that in. Which it is. Yeah, so nothing, nothing's getting up there, is it? No. So that's nice and protected now, nothing's getting in there. And then, that's clipped on there, it can't go anywhere. We've got a cap, haven't we, to go on there? Yeah, so to put the cap on, oh, right. I'll let you do it though. So you're going to slide it past it because you want to get this lip to hook over the bottom of that. Right. So back and then back yeah, up. Back down and then. Right. Then so I was I was just imagining. I have read the instructions, <laughs> but I was just imagining there was a little cap that clips on there, but it doesn't. It goes over the whole thing. Yeah, keep sliding it down. Oh. <clears throat> oh. So you got it? Leave that. So go go literally past it. And then that's it. Right, and then that's on beautifully. Yep. That's it. So the flash can't fall down, it, it's it's on stuck on the back of this tile. It can't go up because it'll hit the cut and the nails. Yeah, sound. Right, that's the first one. That took this one here over two hours. <laughs> that with David explaining about 10 minutes. So I think we're okay. We've doubled up on the end here because we've got one there, one there. Then we're going to wherever we're going next. Okay, it has been a bit of a monster of a day, but the brilliant thing is that both sides of the roof, the rails are up. It's not a huge job this, but it has been 
quite a involved job and even David from Genius Roof Solutions, we were chuckling away at about one o'clock saying that this isn't the run of the mill slate roof that, um, that you're gonna come across on every installation. It's a, bit, it's a bit different, it's a bit special this one. But if we take a look up there, and if I just get you zoomed in a bit, try and get you up a bit. We can see from there that we have got the roof hooks are on, most of the rails on. Uh, we've just got to, we need to cut another piece of rail to monitor for whatever reason the rail that was left isn't long enough. Um, so we'll sort that out tomorrow. So we're back tomorrow, we'll get the panels on tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been one of them. A massive, massive thanks to, to David, who's going to run off now. <laughs> He's had enough. I was just saying on the camera there that that, um, that was a bit of a monster day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was challenging. Yeah, challenging is definitely... And the rafters aren't in any kind of uniform order, it doesn't make life easy. No, exactly, yeah, and the, and the construction of the roof again which makes it so you can't see where the rafters are. Um, and then that lovely rain. <laughs> yeah, the rain, the sunshine. Exactly, but for today we've got there, we've got where we need to be. Um, so, yeah, lovely. We'll get the panels on tomorrow and uh, we'll see the finished product. David, thank you so much. No problem, you're welcome. See you soon. <laughs> quite enjoyable. <laughs> quite, quite enjoyable. Right then, boys and girls. <sighs> Out of breath. We'll start again. Right, the panels are finally on the roof. The job, for now, is finished. The soft tones of the birds could be heard in the sings, but the panels are now on the roof, both sides. The job is now finished. Um, the products we used, Genius, Speed Flash, was fantastic. Thanks to Genius, thanks to David for coming down and helping us, um, and on to the next.